Hello pilots and welcome back to Flight Academy. It's season two time. This series is brought to you by Out of Art Gaming and as always, my name is Phil. 11 players are going head to head in a round robin single ship tournament to find out who is the ace pilot. Format rules are in the description below, but joining me for round one, game three, we have... Hi guys, this is me again. Hi, it's Amy. Amy, you are back for game three. We are getting right stuck into this now. Um, two more players have joined us at the same. We've got Gary and we have Duncan. Again, I know not really factions you play, but that's the way the cookie crumbles, really. Yeah. So I'm going to quickly go through Gary's list and then you can let us know what Duncan has. We've got a lot of upgrades on the table this time. So Gary has Temin Wexley. Now, this is the free boost version that you get in the normal T70 pack, so not the Heralds of Hope. He has Outmaneuver, R4 Astromech, Pattern Analyzer, Shield Upgrade, Integrated s foils and Ion Cannons. So a lot packed into that small chassis there. How much will he actually get use of in this, I wonder? And what's Duncan got for us? So Duncan is fielding a Y-Wins. Y-Wing, y Y-Wing rather, uh, with Cavill. So, Marksmanship, Iron Cannon Turret, Proton Torpedoes, R4B11, Proximity Mines, False Transfer Bonder Codes, and a Shield Upgrade. Again, an absolute plethora of upgrades on both sides. I do wonder how likely they are to get to use all of those. So, it will be quite interesting to see all of those tools in effect. But what's who's your money on, Amy? Who do you, who do you, you favour? Uh, I'm actually going to say the X-wing. I'm going to say Tenem, purely because I've had that many games where I've never won against an X-wing. I mean, the T70s are really quite good, so it is going to be. A tough matchup for Duncan against this T70, especially with that maneuverability. Although with Cavill and that Ion Cannon turret, he does have an extremely powerful tool in his arsenal to potentially shut that down, especially with Cavill's ability of while he perform a non-front arc attack, roll one additional attack die. So that Ion Cannon turret has got even deadlier in this sense for controlling where his opponent is going to be so be so basically gary's got to be really careful of that to be honest but if he can get some early shots in without maneuver that could be that could be the difference there oh yes and gary is flying very aggressively with temin i do like how aggressive he is being there And I believe that is Tevin's free boost. Yeah, free boost there, taking the focus. See if he can get in behind Cavill. It's nice to see a Y Wing on the table. I mean, obviously, we've seen a few ships that some people don't expect in season one with. Um, Quinn's Hawk and Kanan that did really well but bringing a Y-Wing to the table it's definitely a very different option and I think we are about to see an Ion Cannon turret shot so this is going to be quite dangerous for Gary though he does have the protection of that debris so hopefully because the last thing he wants to do is get ioned right now yeah, might be ideal. I mean, if we hadn't reduced the size of the board, it probably would be okay, but uh, bringing it in another range... Well, it's not a, not a great shot there. Definitely going to have to use that target lock. Oh, two hits and a crit. This could, could spell a bit of danger. Spending that focus, so just taking one damage, no ions there. 
and I can imagine Gary is breathing a sigh of relief after that one. Yep. Because <laughs> you definitely don't want to get ioned right by a board edge that quickly in the game. Yeah, especially when it's got huge tape there, same fragile. <laughs> yeah. I mean, interesting story about that. Obviously, I was marking up all the mats and ran out of tape. So I had to quickly find what I could, and the fragile tape was all I could find. So, but at least they know, definitely don't go over that. Although skirting it very close there, Gary. But that is a nice three sloop in there. Will Duncan have read that, or will Gary have taken him by surprise then? Good use of pattern analyzer getting that target lock. You'd anticipate that Duncan's probably going to swing around that obstacle, so it's likely that there might not be a shot in range this time, which would kind of favor Gary actually, giving him a chance to get back into the fight. Oh, false transponder codes getting rid of that target lock there. In theory, that probably should have been spent last turn because it's when either you are locked or you perform a lock action, your opponent gets a jam. Okay, definitely no shots happening this round. Um, we don't have any epic ships on the board with range four or range five shots, so. Yeah. But quite a nice sort of disengage there. Um, that should be a stress token there, by the way, but we get the we get the idea of it. It's a big red token. We know that that's a red move. So knowing the power of Cavill and that Ion Cannon turret, Amy, what what would you say is what would you be trying to do instead? Mm. Honestly, I'm not sure. Because I don't normally fly Y-Wings. I'm struggling. I think something that makes it quite tricky is the fact that where Duncan has first play and has that initiative advantage, he can spend the action to rotate. Yes, it does mean that he's sacrificing other actions. But if he can control where Temin's going, I mean, looking at it right now, if he can cause that X-Wing to be ioned for next round, that does look like it'll be going over that debris. And debris... Yeah. Debris isn't very nice anymore. It's not the worst. I think gas clouds are probably one of the worst obstacles now in 2.5 for going over. But, oh, it's such a tough one. I think maybe trying to use the iron cannon turret to force them to go over the debris if possible. Yeah. And I don't know, maybe catch them out with proton torpedoes, hit them where it hurts. Ah, so yeah, if you can iron him, if you can iron him into position and then proton, that would be ideal. I think he's just barrel rolled out of Temin's arc there, and you do not expect Y wings to barrel roll very often. And I think that's actually put his ion cannon in arc as well. Oh, that's another. So that's one damage and two ion tokens. So could this be the start of the ion train here? It'd be interesting to see if Duncan is able to force continual ions there at all or not. And that was a great barrel roll. Get himself out of arc of that X-Wing. Did not expect that coming. Yeah, that was good. So 
So let's see, does he? Oh, looks like he does just clip it. So that's just the single. He's taken the damage there. But can Duncan keep that pressure on, I wonder? And obviously, you'll see the players consulting random bits of paper around the table again this was actually played not long after 2.5 had come out so there was still a lot of things that we wanted to make sure that we were getting absolutely right so we had some quick references for the new obstacle rules uh, range zero overlapping etc so that we could try and keep it as correct as possible obviously guys i know you you guys out there are absolutely fantastic for letting us know if you spot something that hasn't been done right. So if you do see anything or you feel that something has been missed, let us know down in the comments below. We've still got more games to record. So what we can do is we can always try and make sure that we remind the players of any anything that was missed so that we can try and avoid those in later rounds. Um, but we do still have plenty of games left to be recorded as well. So it'd be good to make sure that we're getting it as right as possible. But bear in mind, these players are going off one table onto another table. We had three tables running at a time. And in a four hour session, we had about 27 games recorded. So there's a lot going on. And only little old me to try and keep on top of all of it. Oh, Duncan, that's just that's just nasty it's brilliant <laughs> he's really just absolutely putting that pounding in so it's it's only one damage so it's it's definitely if he keeps doing it this way it's definitely death by a thousand cuts rather than that big powerful strike but it's it's keeping Temen exactly where Duncan wants him and I know it obviously looks a bit confusing. It looks like he's dropping an additional stress token down, but um, Gary is using triangular ion tokens. So there is a stress and an ion token there. Uh, that stress token should have come off because obviously an ion move is a blue maneuver, which allows you to take a focus. So that stress should have come off there. What is Duncan going to do this time? How close is he going to play it? Oh, go around the debris. I think it's a good option. I mean, yeah. he doesn't he doesn't need to go in hard. So keep his actions open. But at least Gary gets a few extra evade dice. Oh, not that it's really going to do much. That's another shield. And that's half points and another ion. Now, again, it might be that they should be getting multiple ions on there. It's small ships. They only need one ion token to be ionized. So there's no point putting multiple ions down um, because they're just going to come off next round. So if you only see one ion token, that's why. But while they get their dial set, or at least Duncan's getting his dial set because we know what Gary's doing, um, just want to remind you guys, if you do enjoy what we're doing here at Out of Art Gaming, we do have a Patreon with the link in the description below. Oh, how close is he going to get to that? Does he? Oh, no. Oh. <laughs> Ion from one to the other, and that's two damage there as well. Oh, Duncan, this... 
Leave the poor man alone. This is a this is just this is just brutal now, mate. I think it's brutal. <laughs> I mean, like, don't get me wrong. It it's very well played. It's using the tools that Duncan has got very effectively. Um, again, in the previous round, Tevin should have been able to take focus. Obviously, he's on an obstacle, so definitely couldn't take an action this time. Um, but yeah, he, Duncan is really utilising Cavill's ability with the Ion Cannon. It's just, it's very painful to watch, and I do feel, I do feel for Gary here. Um, I, what are I we... do as well. It's yeah. wow. And this looks like a proton torpedo attack to me. And I am sorry, Gary. That was night Ooh. night. Oh, Duncan. Use the ion cannon mercilessly and then finished him off with a proton torpedo. It's a tough one. It's a tough one when Cavill's initiative five and you're lower than him because he can just barrel roll or move his turret and then you've got that to contend with. So well played, Duncan. You really use Cavill to the best there. Commiserations, Gary. Uh, thank you for playing. You know what? You've got him out of the way, so you don't have to worry about him in the future. <laughs> um, but Amy, thank you very much for joining us for Game 3. I hope you enjoyed that, and um, I hope it's given you a new appreciation for how absolutely brutal Cavill can be. Oh, yes, definitely. Yeah, I really enjoyed it. Yeah, watch out for Cavill with an Iron Cannon turret, guys. Um, but guys, that's Game 3 of Flight Academy. Still got many more games up to come so don't forget like the video subscribe to the channel link for the patreon in the description below but we will see you next time for game four